I'd like to speak about the homeopathic medicine belladonna. Belladonna is a fascinating medicine because as one homeopathic medicine, it is quite capable of treating a number of acute inflammatory or infectious diseases. Let me explain. When healthy people take belladonna, which is known as approving in homeopathy, they show the following symptoms. It seems to change the circulation of the blood so that the blood gets forced up into the neck and head and away from the trunk. So a person under the influence of belladonna will have cooler or cold hands and feet and a very hot face and head. This is very important. The other thing is, as the circulation gets forced up into the head, the carotid artery, there's one on either side, the main artery pumping blood into the head, will become very active and very obviously pulsating, and you can even see the pulsation if you look for it. Another thing it does is causes the pupils to dilate. So you have these symptoms. You have heat in the head, there'll be redness in the face, again due to the extra blood. You'll have pulsating arteries, the carotids, and the head will pulsate, often with pain. Now when you have this constellation of symptoms, it coincides with many, many childhood fevers. Because Belladonna has won many laurels in the treatment of very high fevers that come on suddenly. And always it's the same thing if the person needs belladonna. The fever comes on suddenly, it goes up high, 103, 4, and 5. There's pulsation, there's heat. You can hold the hand above the, if the child's lying in bed, you can hold the, your hand about 8 or 10 inches above their, their face and feel the heat radiating up. And it's great for that kind of a fever. Now, it may not be a fever, it may be in a, a fever in conjunction with, say, tonsillitis or a sore throat, you'll get the same symptoms. Belladonna will help, it'll cure. Uh, the same thing with otitis or an ear infection. You'll get the same symptoms plus the ear, ear pain. And again, uh, belladonna will, will function and cure. Even things like meningitis have been stopped with belladonna, though I don't suggest you try that. If you suspect meningitis, you should get the child immediately to the hospital. But the idea is that belladonna causes this tremendous change in the circulation of the blood, forcing it upward into the neck and head, causing pulsation, causing heat, causing redness, and often causing pain. So belladonna then, one medicine there can treat different diagnostic categories, otitis, pharyngitis, tonsillitis, fever, headache, and possibly even meningitis. Thank you.